And they're gonna be entering my domain. This is gonna be the fun part. Welcome to another installment of Overwatch Rework Idea, where we take a hero and rework them inside the workshop. Genji has surpassed his mastery of the blade, activating his domain expansion, Malevolent Shrine. Why are we doing this? Genji has been the butt of the joke in the Overwatch community for far too long. Whenever a hero needed a nerf, the devs always concluded that Genji needed a nerf. Thus, the joke was born, Nerf Genji. So it is about time Genji receives a gigabuff. As a software developer, I'll be working my magic to make this into fruition. How will we accomplish this? Whenever Genji hits his ultimate, he will come at a standstill. His reflect will activate to give the illusion that he's sending slashes. And last, we will be expanding a big red zone, ensuring that everything within the zone is slashed. All right, let's get started. Head on directly to create a custom game. So as we're used to, we're gonna go to like eight player free for all. So all Genjis can fight each other. Not forcing hero to player to be Genji in our case. I'm setting up the foundation needed for the domain to start from nothing and grow to its max range, trapping enemies in a spear-like shape. Let's actually save this preset before I forget. Remember how I legitimately lost all my save progress? No, oh, a server error. I didn't even get to save. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're hitting control shift S right now. Let's see what we get. This is the first iteration. Let's see if we got in the first go. We have our ult immediately. See how this looks like. Oh, that's a downer. Oh, it did nothing for the first try. Amazing. All right, here's our second iteration. Now when we press the ultimate and you could kind of see it, it's really nice and cloudy like a bad aura. Bad aura doesn't expand fast enough, so we will be speeding up the expanding rate. All right, test number three. We've upped the rate. Oh, so let's see how that looks like. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, damn. How big is this effect? Change the effect. Hopefully that's better for us to visually see. Hit my ultimate. An orb is created. Oh, it's expanding. That's what I want. Seems menacingly. Oh, huh, it's supposed to have stopped by now. But once it hits its max, that's when it's supposed to disappear in five seconds. Yeah, awesome. It disappeared. That's so cool. <laughs> One final crucial step to get the feeling just right is to make sure the enemies feel the weight of the slashes. Malevolent Shrine has to make the enemies feel powerless. I'm gonna use stunned because it kind of feels like a hit effect in a way. No, oh, it did this shit. It kicked me out. Why can't I never learn to save? Server closes to excessive workshop script load. Oh, ah, I fixed the issue that was crashing my code each time. I'm a genius. We have to make sure to not consider ourselves a target in the domain. But once it hits us max, it's going to hit everybody's here. Oh, they're not dead. My stun is being repeated. <laughs> I don't I don't know why is it doing that. This time, the enemy's definitely gonna get hit by the damage once they're inside my domain. Expanding. Oh. <laughs> Kinda lackluster. We'll just ensure the feel that hey, we get stunned and then in just a short minuscule of a second, we get damaged and die. <laughs> well, that looked nice, but the visual effect for hitting the maximum doesn't give this visual feeling of hey, it's growing and it's done growing. I want that to make it more obvious. So what I'm end up doing is that I'm creating a yellow effect as it's expanding. And then once it's reached its maximum size, it becomes red. Getting my way. Let's see. So it's yellow. Oh my god, that's so cool. So they could run away technically when it's yellow. All right, I got my domain expansion ready. I got all these Annas in front of me and they're going to be entering my domain. This is going to be the fun part. Oh my god, it's such a big massacre. All right, so I made it now that when you ult, I cannot move. You can jump, but I can't move. And once he ultens, I can move. Awesome, I can't shoot at all. I could reflect if I wanted to. All right, time to bring in a victim. <laughs> but if you are enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and comment on an upcoming rework you would like to see. Your support comes a long way in helping this channel grow. All right, time for this video. So I'm just gonna start it. I'm not gonna give you any context, and then we're just gonna go in. What the fuck was that? That's it. That's it. That's literally what I was building. Okay. I am. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm running oh, away. Fuck. Oh fuck. I I'm, can't I'm survive running, that. I can't away. survive that. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh Behold. shit. 
<laughs> I need to make sure that if you die, it doesn't go through. <laughs> At least it works where I kill you the old stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's not good. I activated it too late. Have the rose taste. <laughs> Cancel get Rex no, 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 no. Road. <laughs> oh, it didn't. You were just so out of bounds. No, no. I almost don't want to heal myself. <sighs> this exactly. it. It's over. I have the high ground. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't seen What If Kiriko Can Use Flying Thunder God video, feel free to check that out as well. That was also really fun to make. Just like always, custom gate code is in the description below. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.